<coughs> okay, my girls, right now we have prefixes and today's lesson about the prefixes of the, this, out, and on. But before we start our lesson, I want to ask you this question. What does it mean prefix? Hmm. Who can tell me? Prefix is like uh, the first words, like uh, 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 unfortunate or uh, any unlikely. So you add something to the beginning. And the opposite of it is suffix. You put something at the end. Excellent, 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 Malak. Great job. This is the definition of the prefix. Prefix are words. Or letter or number, like place or before another. We put it before other words. Okay. These are some words. We put it before uh, our words. And we have hundreds of prefixes in English, <clears throat> a lot of prefix. But what is the reason why we add prefix? Who can tell me? What is the benefit if I add prefix? Then... Like to make the word shorter, like if it's like... Uh... Uh, something you don't want, like no need for saying I don't want, like only put on or like something you don't like this. Excellent. <coughs> so like if this I have the word, yes. Black. Like if you say, um, you have uh, the word agree and you add this, so it will be disagree. Excellent. Or, order, disorder. Very good. So, for example, if I have agree and I want to make it a negative from that word, I'll put disagree. Instead of saying I do not agree with you. I disagree. Instead of writing all of this long sentence, I would just add simply, I would just add this to the word before the word. And then I will have the same meaning of this sentence, but in only one word. So the first benefit that I have for prefixes, actually, they are shorten the sentences to make it shorter for us and easier for us to make sentences. Also, another benefit, huh? Who can tell me another benefit? What does the prefix do for the words also? Um, um they, they, are the they add, sometimes they add a meaning. Huh, what they do to the meaning? Like maybe um, they change it's like sun and no. Excellent. Huh? Miss the sunglasses count as a prefix? No, sunglasses, this is a compound word. You missed between the compound word and the prefix. No, they changed the meaning as you said, Malak. How is that? Like the word agree and disagree. Agree, it means that I am, I am uh, approving what you are saying and I am with you. But if I want to make it a negative way, I would say disagree. Then how I change the meaning by simply adding this. So also the prefix is what they do. They change the meaning of the words. So they do two things, two jobs for the prefixes and the suffix. Think they make the sentences shorter. And the other thing, they change the meaning. Think about it also in this way. If I have the word possible, which means I can do it. And then if I want to say, I don't want to do it, should I say, I don't want to do it? Or what should I do? I add M and become impossible. Impossible means it can't be and I can't do it. Okay, so is it the same meaning or different? Huh? Same. Possible. possible and impossible. Oh no, I know, uh, different meaning. Different meaning. <clears throat> So different meaning. So it changed the meaning and it makes the sentences shorter. Okay, go ahead right now and open your books on the page 267 in the notebook. Let's have exercise on these words. But before that, uh, let's revise together the prefixes that we took before. We have D, this, out, and on. D here, it means not. Like for example, if I say, defrost, then I don't want the, the food to be frost or frozen. I want to make it defrost. Yani I want to heat it. Then the frozen thing, it will be gone. Then if I say, for example, decompose, the same thing. If I say destroy, the same thing. If I say also uh, decline, 
which means to go down. <coughs> so all of these things, it means not. Also, I have this, another word that means not. Like for example, this agree. And remember, when I add the prefix, it has to be with the same word. Yani I don't, I can't make a space between them like this. This is wrong. I have to make it one word. Then disagree. Disable. It means not able to do something or disagree with me. And then I have out. Out also, it means outside. Like, for example, if I say outlander, it means she is not from this area. Mm -hmm. If I say outfield, it means it's in the outside, it's not in my house. If I say outdoor, it means also outside. And then I have also the <coughs> uh, prefix on. It means what? Uh, what does it mean? Un not also. Excellent. So un, it means not. If I say unbelievable, unbelievable, untrue. If I say, but miss, if we say like uh, outrageous, will it be prefix still? Outrageous, also yes, prefix. Yes. Yes. Outrageous. Yeah, because it changes because the meaning in this one. Yes, because rage itself it means what it means someone who is angry. If, I, if you put out to it, also it means that you are super angry, outrageous, you are out of control. Also, if I say outburst, outburst means that you did something very loudly, like maybe you cried very loudly, you shout very loudly. So out here it means maybe outside, and it can also mean very much or uh, loud. These are the meaning of out. <clears throat> okay, let's go right now for the page 267 in the notebook to have some exercise on it. <coughs> we have this page. Did you open it, all of you? Yeah. Yeah. Read the story below, circle six misspelled words in the story Write them correctly, find a sentence fragment correctly. So we have right here, in this passage, we have six spelling mistakes. We have to correct it. And one of the words, uh, and one of the sentences is a fragment. We want to find it and write it correctly as a sentence. So go ahead, Malak, and read it, please. Okay. Uh, Patty's new pet. For Patty, today, a day like no other. His parents had decided he was old enough to, uh, to have a pet. They would go to the animal shelter and choose one. At the shelter, Pete was pleased because all the attendants were, uh, were unwavering in their kindness and, and not knowledge, not knowledge. Pete wished he could take all the pets home. Then he, st uh, he stopped before a cage with a tiny uh, chihuahua pup. When, uh, when Pete unf unfascinated, uh, the 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 unfastened and fast the latch, latch yes. <laughs> uh, and took the little dog out of its cage. Uh, it ran around in an outrageous outburst of energy and joy. The little pup gently licked Pete's face. Pete thought this was an uh, outstanding puppy. The vet the veter veterinarian examined the pup and gave it to mm -hmm. uh, gave it vac vaccination then Pete's parents took him home along with his new best friend excellent so now in this passage right here we have six spelling mistakes we have to correct them together who can tell me what is the first spelling mistake that we have in this passage mm -hmm. yes what you uh 
decided. Decided. Because. Excellent. What is? We have the first word we have is because. <clears throat> Give me the correct spelling mistake. B E. The correct spelling. E yeah. B E C A U S E. Excellent job. This is the first one. Okay, Malak, do you know where's the other one? Um, the, the one. Uh, Malak or what? Okay. <coughs> yes, I found one. Tell me. This one? Oh, wait. Unfastened. Very good. Yeah. Give me the correct spelling. U N F A S T E N. Unfastened. Excellent job. Unfastened also because it's a verb. Unfastened. Unwavering. Yes. Excellent. Unwavering. Very good. This one also. This one also. This one. So, and. Wavering. Oh, give me the spelling. <coughs> Unwavering. Uh, mm -hmm. U N on W. Uh, w mm -hmm. A A V E R I N G. Excellent. Number four. Mm. Um. Outrageous. Outrageous. Where is it? Uh, outstanding also. Yes, yes, outrageous. Very good. Give me the correct spelling. And outstanding. And outstanding oh. also. What you give me the outrageous? O U T mm -hmm. R T R A G mm -hmm. E O U S. E O U S. Excellent. Outrageous. And then outstanding, Malak. Huh? O. O U T. Mm -hmm. S T A N D I N G. Excellent job. Number six. Huh? What is the last one that we have? Um. <coughs> hmm. Outburst. Outburst. Very good. Okay, so the last one we have is outburst. Give me the correct spelling. O, o U T. Uh -huh. B U R S T. Very good. Excellent job. What's it? Okay, now we have also another thing. We have a sentence that is a fragment. We have to fix it to make it a correct sentence. Where is that uh, sentence? Um, they in the first uh, sentence they put for Pete. Uh -huh. Yes, excellent. They put here what? Tell me what is wrong with they this. They put for Pete, and they put. Uh, they oh, put for the stop after for Pete, so. This is wrong or correct? What do you think? Wrong. Wrong, because it's. Of course, it's, wrong. Yeah, it's, of course it's wrong, because it's not a complete sentence. It's not a complete thought. So for Pete, and he put full stop. Why full stop? So what should I put instead of the full stop? What should I put? Uh, we put comma, maybe. Yes, excellent job. I will put comma. Why? Can you tell me why? Because I think um, because uh, it's not first of all, it's not complete. And here we said for Pete today, so it's uh, they didn't like complete the idea of it. Yes, I will put a comma because it's still not a complete sentence, and he want to add more information. So the only thing that can add more information inside the sentence is the comma. Then I put a comma. Okay, do it this way. If you finish writing, tell me. <coughs> yes, I'm done.
Yes, I'm done. Dead. All of you? Yeah. <coughs> okay, the next, uh, the next question, Watin, can you read it and take number eight for you? Hmm. Okay, the next question. Circle the word that it's spelled correctly, write it on, uh, write it on the line. Uh, destruction, destruction, the first one. The first one, excellent. So the first one, it will be destruction what does it mean destruction can you tell me hmm. yesterday there was I know. a big storm and the destruction in the uh, in the streets was enormous what is the destruction? Well, it, like accident or like something trouble yeah. destruction comes from the word destroy which means that uh, the things that fell around the trees the cars when they hit each other the damage the damage excellent all the damage from the places uh from the cars from the houses from the trees we call destruction number nine yeah malak hmm. out tricks out tricks yeah. um first one out what out. uh first one out skirt the first one hmm. One job. What does it mean outskirt? Like uh, the um, edge of, uh, of town or edge. The edge of the town. So the houses at the edge of the town, I call it outskirt. Uh, for example, the houses on uh, the Haban or al Kunfuda, they are outskirt of Jeddah. They are on the edge of Jeddah. Unappetizing, unappetizing. Which one, Yawatin? The first one. First one. What does it mean unappetizing? Like uh, appetizing, it's uh, it's food, not uh, not like cupcake, not like uh, salad. It's like food, a meal. Okay. Miss, it also means like uh, not uh, not uh, like not not delicious or not yes not nice not, uh, not delicious for us, not attractive for us to eat. It. Like for example, it, it doesn't mean it's a meal, Watin. It means that the food that they put for us, it's not delicious and doesn't look attractive for us to eat it. Okay? So that's why I called it unappetizing. Unappetizing, which means it's not attractive to eat. Then we have unconscious. First one or second one? Uh, both of you. The first one? The first one. Okay. Unconscious. What does it mean, unconscious? I uh, not like not alive because it uh, has no conscious, no mm, awake, mm, sleep. asleep, sleep. not sleep or doesn't aware of the things around him. This array. Yes. The second or the uh, the first or the second? No, the second. Um, second. The second. What does it mean, yes. this array? Like something is not, no, it's like not in order or like something is not in order. Mm -hmm. Excellent. This array, it means unarranged and it's not fixed. It's, it's like a messy and a chaos. Um, we have this illusion. First or second, huh? Which one is the first? Um, uh, second. The second one, excellent. What does it mean, this illusion? That means there's no illusion, I think. Yeah. Like, um, uh, you, you can see it. Like, it's not an illusion, it's real. You can feel it, you can see it, it's real. Yes, excellent job. So, this illusion is that your mind there and what you see is it true. It's not like uh, something fantasy, it's reality. So, you are disillusioned. If I'm saying this person is illusioned, which means that he, what he see is not real. He's imagining something. But when I say disillusioned, it means that what he see is reality and he is true. What he's saying is true. A defensive, first or second? Second. Um, second, very good. Second. What does it mean defensive? Defensive, um, the soldiers or uh, police that protect the people who are defensive for the country, the people who protect the country, it means. Uncommon, 
The first or the second? The second. second. What does it mean, uncommon? Uncommon, oh, like, like you can't like get into it. It's, that, it's, like, it's, it's, it's uncommon, uncommon to get a glass that is white. So what does it mean, uncommon? <laughs> you can't get it. It's really hard to get it. So uncommon, it means unfamiliar or it's not usual. It's not usual thing. So these are the words of today. Do you have any question of this uh, lesson? No, Miss. Thank you. Sure, hard. Easy. Easy. And inshallah, I will have it. Uh, I will give it to you inshallah in the next uh, quiz. Your quiz will be on Sunday, and it, this yeah. is inside the quiz. So since you do it right now very easily, I imagine that inside the test it will be super easy for you also. Miss, I also wrote poem. You what? I wrote a poem. Okay, give it to me. I'm waiting for that. <coughs> um, pop lollipop, you are so sweet. Pop lollipop, you are to eat. Pop lollipop, you are the treat. Pop lollipop, that I would love to eat. Pop lollipop, you are the one. Pop lollipop, that helps me a ton. Pop lollipop, you are so fun. Pop lollipop, you just won. Pop lollipop, stop and just have fun. <laughs> nice one, I love it. <laughs> So all of this poem, just to to speak about the lollipop and how how fun is that lollipop, huh? <laughs> Miss, this is illusion. <laughs> Amazing, Yamalak. I love your poems. Always you and Watin, mashallah. I love it. Amazing job. Keep going, my girls, and keep shining like this every day. And inshallah, next time I will see you. And we have more poems to do and more exercise to do. Five minutes break and let's back to have the convention lesson about the pronoun. Okay? Okay. Okay.